we're not going to lose anything. So that's uh, the main idea. Okay, so I went through this in another video, but I'm going to go through it again now. We're going to select some images here to put in, and the, the, the way to do that is to put them in the main editor, and then uh, just basically copy the um, the file reference for the image and put it into the, uh, the syntax editor. So <clears throat> we're going to click the upload insert image. We're going to select <clears throat> some images from the media library. Okay, so uh, ones that I know that we haven't uh, used before. Um, I'm not going to coordinate these in any particular uh, way. Okay, so inserting the post format to the right. Yes, that'll do. Okay, so that's fine. And we'll do another one for this image here. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to move through the uh, through the images or through the different questions and, and put in some different uh, images. So we might put in, say, this one next. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. And that's that one done. And moving right along, let's try another one. Okay, we might put in say another one down here okay uh, let's whack that in there okay <clears throat> so we'll have a third image here which uh, we might as well have this one in here that looks pretty good yeah we'll have that insert into post okay so the page is starting to look uh, pretty, pretty good now in terms of images and so forth. We can, we can have one <coughs> at the end there, just to kind of round it off. So we've got four images on the FAQ page. Because FAQ is a fairly long page, I, I like to kind of break it up or keep the reader's interest with, with images um, throughout the page. Otherwise, it, it gets a little bit uh, monotonous. Okay, so uh, what haven't we used? Mm -hmm. uh, we might have this one in here. That's like a mosaic, that's fine. Insert into post. Okay, so that's all good. Okay. Okay, so that's one has gone in there now, which is uh, good. Okay, so <clears throat> as um, you may have seen in the other video, but I'll show you again how to move these images down into the... Because, of course, if we finish off our formatting and we fix our uh, you know, grammar uh, or context issues in the text, which I recommend you do because spun text isn't perfect, um, we can publish that and that'll be fine. But if we go to spin again, uh, of course the images will disappear because we haven't got them down here okay so to remedy that what we're going to do is go to HTML mode and uh, we're going to take the image and it shows up after the the actual headline itself okay so we're, we're going to take it from anchor to anchor which is basically all of that there okay and we're going to right click we're going to copy and we're going to go down to the uh, syntax editor and we're going to put that in here okay that's going to go in there so that one's been done we're going to go to the next uh, the next one which is uh, underneath the next question is it truly essential to carry out a normal roof upkeep okay and we go from anchor to anchor from there to there okay so where it says href and then the HTTP reference so the <coughs> the anchor opens up and it closes down here that's the entire reference for the image and we're gonna go down to the syntax spinner this is a little bit laborious to set up to get it done right in the first instance and uh, but once it's done <coughs> it's done and you can just deploy as many sites as you like and and spin them uh, at, at random at will and of course with our niche uh, sites from the niche vault uh, library we've already done all of this for you so 
you haven't, unless you wanted to particularly change any of the images or, or whatever, which you may want to do, <coughs> um, you don't have anything to uh, to do there. Okay, so we, we've got here, okay, here, okay, is the second one is going to go in there, and the third one, where are we? Just moving down. Okay, so that was the second one. Then we had our block question and answer, and now we've got the third image here underneath the question, how can we make sure that we're getting professional, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's an image in reference to that. And go from anchor to anchor, okay, from there to there, and copy. And so we're going to go down here, move past our block questions, and it was the next question, I think. Okay, uh, where are we? Okay, how can we be sure that we're getting professional service? Yep, okay, so that's going to go in there. Okay, paste. And I think there was one more. Okay, we're just going to find the last image reference, which is here. Is it possible to get a roofing maintenance agreement? Okay, so we're going to... Hmm. Yep, okay, anchor to anchor, we've got that. Okay, so uh, what do we got here? Okay, is it possible to get an upkeep keep agreement? Yes. Okay, we're going to pop that in there. And that's done. If we go to visual mode, we should see all those images. Turn up one, two, three, four. They're all there, so that's nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to spin again and um, we should see those images show up in the main editor which just proves to you that now uh, you can spin or have this spin uh, on an automatic uh, schedule and know that your images are going to spin as well. Okay, so that's uh, good. Now, if you wanted to get tricky with this and, and put two images side by side and put them within the syntax spin brackets, the images would spin as well. Um, but that's fairly advanced stuff, which we're not going to cover certainly in this uh, video. Okay, so we're going to update and we're going to go back and have a look at that. And it should start to uh, look pretty good. Okay. So we go back to the FAQ page and as you'd seen before, we'd, we'd formatted the text so that it was uh, justified. It was all even down. That was quite nice. But now we're going to see if it has done what we want it to do to spin and include the images and there they all are okay so we might have put an um, come back and put another image in there later but uh, you can see that page is pretty much ready to go um, uh, you know, I haven't perfected the actual text or uh, edited the text to make sure that it's, it reads properly um, but and there are a few words there that we'll need adjusting but uh, basically that's how it's done you know when you're creating a new page if you want to create it so that um, you can uh, later uh, clone the site or you can set it up so that the, the content spins from from an SEO advantage point of view that is how you do it Okay, so I hope you found this uh, enjoyable and informative to uh, watch. Um, if you've got any specific questions, you can uh, just submit a ticket in the help desk or you can join us on the forum and, uh, and uh, start a discussion there. But uh, that's pretty much how it's done. And uh, I uh, wish you all the best with, uh, with doing this. It's not hard to do. And as you can see, it's a very effective uh, result uh, at the end of the day. So thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye now.